Welcome to our makeup counter. We have a ton of lipsticks and lip gloss for you to select from. So let's get started and do some swatching. You know, I'll let you know this is one way to kill my back. I told them to move the counter elsewhere, but I guess the store's too cheap to relocate. Anyway, so I have this blue swatting paper and the reason we use blue it's because we believe that the white doesn't give off the true color of the products. Um, and some people's veins are blue, so it's hard to explain, but it overall just shows the color better as if you were showing it on the human skin. Okay, so the first thing we have, and yes, to answer your question, this makeup counter is strictly lip gloss and lipstick is the KKW Beauty Kim Kardashian's lip gloss in the shade Flammable. So let's do some swatching. If you'd like any of these, I will let you try two of these on your lips, okay? Here it is. It produces a nice orangey, shimmery glow, and you even see some blue glitter sparkles in there. And an orange lid. This will last you a long time. And all of these come in different shapes and sizes. Like I said, these are just sampler tops, so thus they're much smaller. But let's give this a shot. So that's the first one. The next one we have is Kat Von D in the shade Dreamer. This is a gothic blue color, Victorian era themed packaging, very thin, long tubing, and the boldest blue you'll ever wear. Uh, there is a lot of product to this, so be mindful of that. I mean, see. Um, you just want to be careful because it's quite liquidy, not to tip it over, right? There it is. I gotta shine it in the light too so you see the difference between the other products. And of course, it's always a fond idea to mix and match different colors. Brown and blue apparently go great together, and since this has blue glitter in it, it might actually pair up and complement pretty well as glosses or lip tints, you know. I can't say these are all strictly lipsticks and lip glosses. Glosses have a wide range to them. Anything lip, basically. So, lip tints, um, lip kits, you know. Uh, I'm going to show you all those. There's much more. So here's another KKW Beauty gloss. This is in the shade Extinguish. So all of these are just what we have in our shelf at this month. Um, for March slash April. We restock on the 15th, so this is what's available till April 15th, but see that color? It's the same. Kind of keeping up with their fiery theme going for the season. It's been a while since we used this, so we gotta mix it up. See, so you can see when it gets some um, 
clumped, you gotta mix it up a bit, so. The chemicals and the oils kinda tend to separate. That's the only thing I don't like after a while with these products, you know, but there it is. Let's put it on. It's a nice fiery orange. Don't really need to do a double coat there and waste some product because you can see it quite clearly there. See, this one dries to matte, so it, it doesn't stay as a gloss. These two stay as a gloss, you know. Oh, our sister Kylie's matte liquid lipstick. So this is lipstick in liquid form. Ironic is the shade. Slimy forest green color. Dries to matte. This is more like a camouflage color. Like those camo suits that army wear. Yeah. But you can see the product when you're starting to run out, I guess, on the outside. Gooey packaging. Gender some out in there. You see it's already starting to dry pretty quickly. But that's the shade. I guess you could pair that with that pretty well. What do you think? This is Hot Lips Moisture Renew uh, Lipstick in 680 uh, by Rimmel London. Their original crown logo right there. As they say, keep calm and carry on. The purple lid. And you open this baby up and it has a orangey tint to it, so let's get us watching. sort of a cream. They never fully get completely dry. They can still smudge and smear, unlike the uh, liquid lipsticks, which remain dry and non-smudgeable. So you may need to do double coats of the liquid in order to ensure you get enough product, because when it dries, it always kind of subsides around 25% of its product into your skin absorb. Um, so it appears more dim than it actually is at first application. This is Revlon's 520 Pearl Wine with everything. Black and gold luxurious appeal. And you roll it up and it's similar to a bold red lip. I would describe it as a, it's more pinky than the last one I just showed you. See how pink that is compared to this one? It's like magenta. It's one of my favorite colors, actually. Laboratories The Riot Lip Gloss in the shade Corset. So, very large packaging. Their famous gothic sort of look. And a 
peel. Very interesting gloss. It's like a creamy lip gloss. Quite unheard of. Oh, I just love that color. Seriously. Mm. Unique applicator tip. Don't really need a double coat because you can pretty much clearly see the cream. their affordable lips that are wonderful. This is the L'Oreal Color 752 Classic Wine. So, L'Oreal Paris is shimmery. Locket Clasp. Lipstick. And this one, and we're running really low. a matured pink shade to it. Um, not for everyone, but nonetheless. KKW Beauty Radiate Shade. Oh, this one I like. Although it's very light. It has a uh, sort of a yellow shimmer to it. Uh, let's mix it up because again, it kind of hasn't been used. Gotta activate the product. that I'm wearing something. Cherry Truffle Bye Bye Lipstick These are the edible brands. So here's the dark red lip. Tiny amount. 
this in here in the sampler. See how dark it is? And when you shine it away from the light, it almost looks black. It's like so dark. like them so far. What do you think? Yeah, they're good ones, huh? We're about halfway done. <laughs> this is the Color Sensational 958 Copper Spark Metallic by Maybelline New York. So here's the metallic blue packaging. Similar to the Royal. This is definitely a copper color, copper tone. Oh yes, for sure. Instant dry. And I'd say that's another favorite. I love copper. This is L'Oreal Paris Infallible Never Far Lip Gloss Resistant 6 hours in the shade 505 Modern Mauve by Mirror Underneath Oh no, that's just his mirror underneath. What is this say? Where was it by? It's hard to read because it's so small and faded. It's like impossible. It's L'Oreal Paris. I already said it. So, I don't know what that other thing said. But, like an orange pink? It's quite hard to, to describe. Let's see how it looks on paper. seems to have just a dash of blue sparkles to it with some pink and silver I don't know, it's a hard one to describe Bite Beauties, Good Juju Brighter Pink Metallic Packaging Statue. This is more of a newbie lip. Be careful with these because they break pretty easily. But you can pack on a lot of product with these. A lot of it. If you want to buy them. Yeah, it's more like a mauve. It's more mauve than mauve is mauve. <laughs> Very creamy though, you can pack a lot of it on. Here's the other um, L'Oreal color per... Uh, 839 in Cinnamon Toast.
orange dream, just like the Pink Dinks packaging. Elf is known for their inexpensive but quality products. Uh -huh. Very bold orange. This is more liquidy than this one, and it's more This is 325 cinnamon stick by Maybelline and packaging to kind of encourage to the eye a sneak peek tease of what's inside. Mmm, quite unexpected, but let's see. Last one from Bite. This is Ruby Bon Bun. Look at that purple. I love it, so cute. Yeah, this is my favorite of the Bites. Certainly. Comfort map. Brown metallic. It's the boldest brown you'll ever wear, trust me. You put a little bit of that and it goes a long way, trust me. Uh, this is Revlon's Kiss Me Coral Cream in 750. Let's see if it's coral after all. Looks more orange to me. Yeah, I would say so. Oh, that is comparable. 
Glamatech Chain Ballerina. So it has two names because that's one is the name of the group it comes in and the other is the actual name of the shade. So this is entirely black shade. It's a liquid. You can wear it as eyeshadow too. <laughs> Keep these, uh, make sure they dry and then you can kind of 